Greetings, I the War Owl greets you and welcome to How to Play Counter-Strike Global Offensive. We've been covering topics relating to sound quite a bit on this YouTube channel lately. This time, I'm going to be covering some key areas on the map that you can position yourself in to get important information about your opponent's movements based on their footsteps. Sound is nearly as important as vision in CSGO, as it allows you to get information about where your opponents are and what they are planning. The whole metagame revolves around sound. Footsteps in particular can give away quite a bit, and sometimes players aren't too keen on where they can be heard from, and forget to hold shift when moving around the map. The range you can hear footsteps is very simply a circular radius around the player, extending through the walls. Sound doesn't travel like it does in real life. In Counter-Strike, there's no echoes with the footsteps, it doesn't bounce or anything. Other sound effects work differently than the footsteps, but for this tutorial, we're just going to be focusing on the footsteps. Keep in mind that what material the player is walking on creates different sound effects, and having map knowledge of where the ground turns to metal grating, for example, can be incredibly useful. To better determine the exact position of players, it helps to face them through the wall and move your head around, much like an owl. And you'll be able to hear the difference in amplitude of both sound in your left and right ears. Using this information and with knowledge of the map and where you can hear, which is sort of what we're going to be talking about in this tutorial, your brain will be able to determine the exact player positions on the map. It's worth noting that you should invest in headphones capable of stereo instead of just using your laptop sounds. You need to be able to hear a separate right and left. Our brains are amazing, and the sense of amplitude in each ear can give your mind's eye a great view of where that sound is coming from. First, we move on to Dust 2, and where else would we go? Dust 2, Land of the Noobs! The first spot we'll look at is short A for terrorists. On this fancy picture here, the dot is you. You are here. And the circle denotes how far you can hear footsteps. From this spot, you'll be able to hear CTs running through CT spawn to rotate, pushing middle, and pushing long A. As a CT, you have to be mindful of how far that range is if you want to go sneaky beaky like and make sure to shift walk when you're going through those areas. At the same time, the sound goes both ways. So from any of these positions, CTs will know how many players are on short, and when they finally decide to push or fall back. Terrorists, remember to walk on short, because they can hear you. It covers all kinds of different standard CT spots. B Tunnels is another such spot. Terrorists can hear players rotating through door, but not in the window itself from the tunnels. And at the same time, all of the tunnels, including the entrance from T spawn, is audible from B site. You have to start walking before you reach the entrance of the tunnel. I would start walking as you go up into that little platform thingy. Lower tunnels and mid can hear each other as well. One thing you need to keep in mind as terrorists is where you need to start walking in order to mask your movements. Notice as I move this dot around on Inferno to different common spots where players can be heard from and where T's need to start walking when they decide to sneak up banana. Next, we move on to Cache, and showcase a very useful spot for CTs to stand that will give them full information on where Ts are standing. At the start of the round, it's customary for CTs to throw down a mid-smoke. They can use this to get a forward position near the entrance to vents. From here, look at the possibilities. They can hear players entering into A main, the entirety of the warehouse, and the entirety of B main. This is incredibly useful information. Nuke in particular is a tricky map for sound, because it has that vertical element to it. A great spot to listen for enemy movements is in the rafters above hut. From here you can hear how many players go outside or lobby, if the T's start to move radio, as well as players jumping from T-roof to silo. FUN FACT! As we talked about in the most recent Quick Tips video, you are silent when holding shift and jumping to a higher elevation. This works at silo, allowing you to jump up each step silently after the initial noisy jump of courage. So if you're a terrorist, remember, you'll probably have to walk all over this area to conceal your positioning, otherwise T's will have a good idea of where to rotate and when you finally decide to push. Tread lightly, brave counter-strikers. The decision is yours. Are you rushing in? Or are you going sneaky beaky like?
I am Forkman!